The next subject is pitching. Oftentimes you'll be called in to pitch uh, your original idea. And oftentimes studios or production companies will listen to your pitch and hopefully will give you a writing assignment to go back and write it. And then they have write a first refusal or they'll own that project. So what is pitching? Pitching is simply telling a story, creating a cinematic, dramatic, visual, visceral story for that person to go, wow, I see this, I feel this, and I want to be part of this. All right. So that's all pitching is. And you always want to pitch just like a log line with title, genre, and the pitch. And instead of a log line that's very lean, this is going to be lengthy. I like to tell the story of, imagine if you were walking with one of your friends, your best friend, and your best friend said, hey, what did you do last night? And you said, I saw a movie. And your best friend says, what movie did you see? You tell them, what was it about? And you tell them, and that's it. You're gonna tell them the story. And it's not gonna have every single detail, but either you could, they're gonna have a picture of what you saw last night, and they're gonna either wanna see it or not wanna see it, based on what you say, your passion, your enthusiasm, the visuals you paint, and if there's any emotional attachment. People cannot ignore an emotional response. So if you can create that in somebody, then they're going to respond favorably to your pitch. That's really important. Another key to pitching is to get in the same frequency as the person that you're pitching to. So both my parents are New Yorkers. They have New York accents and they talk very fast and they talk like this. And they're constantly and they're Italian and they're constantly going 100 miles an hour. So if my parents were executives and I was pitching to them, I would speed up my cadence and I would have severity up and severity down along with telling a great story. And if I pitch someone else that talk like this, I really like your story, Paul, then am I gonna be at this level? No, I'm gonna slow it down and I'm gonna get into their energy field out of respect, not mocking or mimicking, but now I'm in their world out of respect. And as a result, they're gonna be more receptive to what I'm pitching them. Okay, so that's the art of pitching. And again, you need to believe that you're adding great value to this person. It's not, oh, I hope they buy this. I hope they think this is good. You need to walk in there going, oh my God, this is going to employ thousands of people. It's gonna make them a gazillion dollars. It's gonna enhance their reputation because they put out quality work. I'm gonna, you have to buy this. This is amazing. And that's how you have to pitch. As far as you're adding tons of value, of course you're going to be in business with each other. And if you don't believe in your idea to that level, then you need to take a few steps back and re-sculpt it before going in there and pitching it.